here is a container that I put the snails on. Now I'm just gonna open it. And as I expected, there were actually some snails stuck on the lid of the container. And the other was just sitting down in the leaf trying to guess what it is and yeah. So here are some snails that were stuck in the uh, you know lid and I kept some holes so that they could breathe but none of them tried to ex escape so that's good for me and for them and then now I pick them up and put them on uh, somewhere else because I need to actually check the sand if there's any like dirt or something so I can put them in their new setup actually they were so adorable actually I'm not lying they were so adorable. And they're still adorable. So here are all of the snails that I picked. And I checked if there's any left or not, and there wasn't. So I kept the soil slash sand in here because they need sand. They need it for like laying eggs and stuff. And this is where they came from, so I kept them here. And I flattened it so it, you know, it wouldn't be hard for them to disappear. I want them to like appear for me. So these are just nails, and I'm actually like picking them up one by one, and I'm placing it in the area I want them to be in. So here is all these nails placed in and yeah, and they look gorgeous, so I love them. I love this one because it always like yep, comes out of the shot, except the other ones, they like just comes out when nobody's here. So I place the lid back again. And they were ready to go to their new home. So I kept them outside because they really like the temperature outside. Because inside there was actually, you know, they'll hate it because already I found them outside. So better outside. And I kept them on top of my turtle tank just so that I would make sure they both were good. Look at this one. It was really cute actually. So there were actually some holes in the tank, container, whatever, their home. So uh, off camera, I just taped it off. Here how I taped it so that they wouldn't escape. And they would die if they escaped because this is the only place they live on. And here are some pictures I took. So they look really cute and gorgeous. So at morning I found these strings. I don't know why. If you guys know why, just comment down below. And I took some photos because they were so adorable. Look at this one sleeping. So now you should keep the sand slash soil wet because it's really important for them. So for keeping it wet, I'm using this large, large water, but you can use a medium one or a small one if you like, but this one will stay for with me longer so I used this one and I filled it with water and then I used this cloth that I'm not using anymore and this rubber band and now uh, you're gonna place the cloth on top of the lid while it's opened 
you can actually do the uh, the container and ho make a hole in it but I found this one a lot more better and now you're gonna put this rubber band on top of it and seal it perfectly and now you have to go and check if the water have to be dropped and dropped and dropped so this is the water it wasn't actually like dropping the kind of the one I like so I fold the fabric twice and I sealed it off or I close it with the rubber band if you want to call it yeah so now I'm checking and it's dropping the way I want and yeah this is what you want now you should put it on the snail area so because it's so important for them they need to be moist and or else they would die and uh, I opened the lid because it's you know it was hard for me to spread it all over the area and I put some carrots on too and I fill the water instead they want to go back maybe and I, 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 oh shit, I, uh, you know, just applied it on here. And I applied it on the area they are going to because uh, I found the, on top of the tank, a little bit hard. So I kept, I trimmed the area again. So I kept it over here. And I put it close so that it could be, you know, a little bit cool for them. Or cold. And I put the lid back again. This is how you should make them moist every single day and it's because it's so important or is there a dye and you don't want that, right? So here are my beautiful snails and in the next day actually one of them laid eggs so I'm going to make a new video on how to incubate them but already I have a lot of them so I'm not sure if I'm going to make that video or not but for you guys, maybe I'm gonna do the incubating process. So yeah, these are my snails and they're eating carrots. So don't forget to subscribe and like. This will make me happy as well as will make my day. Goodbye!